All right, guys, we are going to be looking at rate of change. So uh, let's go ahead and look at what rate of change actually is. So what rate of change is the difference from unit rate because unit rate had to have a one in the denominator. Unit rate, uh, excuse me, rate of change does not. For instance, if I wanted to look at something, uh, for instance, like test I graded in the amount of time, I can grade three tests in 10 minutes. Um, so I can grade three tests in 10 minutes. I wouldn't reduce this to get a one in the denominator for minutes. I would just leave it like this. I can't simplify it anymore. And this makes sense. We don't have to do anything more than say, oh, I can grade three tests in 10 minutes. If you could reduce it, so for instance, if I can grade six tests in 10 minutes, or excuse me, in 20 minutes, while these ratios are equivalent, I do want to reduce that down to uh, three tests to um, 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and look at our first problem. The first problem says use the table to determine the annual rate of change from 2004 to 2008 for women who participated in college lacrosse. Explain what rate of change means in this context. So the first thing what we're going to do is um, at a table, usually the first column is your x and the second one is your y and how we find uh, rate of change is we are going to find the difference between these two values and put those differences on our ratio of y over x oops y over x so for instance uh, let's go ahead and find the difference uh, between uh, 6830 minus 5,545, 5, uh, excuse me. So if we were to do this to find what my change here is, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is subtract those two numbers. If you use a calculator, you're going to get 1,285. And if you find the difference between 2004 and 2008, that is four years. So remember, now I'm going to put it looking like this, y over x. It's going to have 1,285 all over 4. What this is saying that 1,284 more women will join lacrosse in college in 4 years. Okay. Now because this is rate of change, I see if I can reduce this anymore, which I cannot. So this is your final answer, 1,285 over 4. Now remember, explain what the rate of change means in the context. It means that 1,285 more women will join lacrosse in four years. And remember, it's always y over x. y represented number of women, and x represented years. So now what we're going to do is state if it has a constant rate of change. What a constant rate of change is showing is when the ratio, which is just the change in y over change in x, um, they need to be equivalent ratios. So if once you simplify them, are they the same amount? So what we're going to do is look at the change. So first off, the number is going to be x, the cost is going to be y. And the change from 2 to 4 is just 2. The change from 4 to 7 is 3. The change from 7 to 9 is 2. Now, even though these numbers aren't the same, that's okay because I really just care about uh, the proportion. So when I look at the change for 38 to 76, that is going to be equal to 38. And then similar, I'm going to look at the change from 76 to 133. So if you take out a calculator, just subtract them. Do 133 minus 76. That'll give you 57. And the same here. The difference between 171 and 133 is 38. Now what we're going to do is compare the ratios. These blue, uh, these blue numbers over each other. And remember, we're going to compare the y over x. So let's start with these two. My y, the change from 38 to 76 was 38, all over 2 reduces to 19. Awesome. 
And you can already see the change from 7 to 9 was 2. The change from 133 to 177 was 38. So that also had a unit rate of 19. So let's go ahead now. We need to double check to make sure this one works. So remember, I'm focusing on the change. So the change from 76 to 130, uh, what, 133 was 57. And the change from 4 to 7 is 3. So then when you simplify that, 57 over 3 is 19. So that is what we're focusing on. The change between all those, the change is always reduces down to 19. So the constant rate of change is 19. Does the table of values represent a linear relationship? Now, any time that a relationship has a constant rate of change, it is linear. So yes, and the reason why is because it has a constant rate of change. So because it has a constant rate of change. So for instance, if when on I solve this and one of my ratios were here, they're all 19, my y over x simplified to 19. If you had an example where it did not equal 19, then that would be an example of uh, it would not have a it would not be a linear relationship and it would not have a constant rate of change So for instance if this number was like 60 over 3 and that would then reduce down um, all the way to uh, 20 These are all not equivalent. So it does not have a constant rate of change if that was the case for this example though That was not the case and so it did have a constant rate of change All right, so let's go ahead now and look at this one same idea uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the table and I'm going to see if this one does have a constant rate of change. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the difference between 8 and 12. The difference between 8 and 12 is positive 4. The difference between 12 and 6 is positive 4. And the distance, uh, difference between 16 and 24 is 8. Now it doesn't matter that the 8 and 4 don't match up. It matters on the ratios. So we just got all my changes of y. Now we're going to look at all the changes of x. So if I look at the change from 8 to 5, I just went down 3. From 5 to 3, that went down 2. And from 3 to negative 2, that went down 5. So now let's go ahead. Oops, sorry about that. So now let's go ahead and look at these. So remember, we're looking at the change in y over change of x. I need to make sure that negative 3 over 4 is equal to negative 2 over 4, which is equal to negative 5 over 8. I got those values by just looking at the blue uh, numbers. Now, negative 3 fourths does not equal negative 2 over 4, and that does not equal negative 5 over 8. None of these... Um, are equal uh, equal ratios so state the constant rate of change this one does not have a rate of change does excuse me not have a now I said does not have a rate of change it does have a rate of change but it's not constant does not have the same rate of change over and over All right, so then it says, does the table of values represent a linear relationship? This would be an example where, no, it would not. And the reason why is because it does not have a constant rate of change. Now, instead of writing constant rate of change over and over and over, I'm just going to write croc, constant rate of change. I just want you guys to know this is my thing. So if you ever tell another teacher or write this on a test, uh, most likely they won't know what we're talking about. So make sure you're writing out constant rate of change always. All right, so the last one, it says, if the slope of a line is 5 over 9, what is the value of y and explain your reasoning? So remember, we're talking always about this constant rate of change. So I need to uh, write this as a proportion. Sorry, I don't know why it's doing that right now. Um, I would have 5 over 9 is equal to, now remember it's always the change in y over change in x. This would then be how much my y is changing over how much my x is changing. And here all I would do is cross multiply. So I'm going to have 9y is equal to, um, what would that be, 135. Once I divide both sides by 9, 
I would get then an answer of y is equal to uh, 15. So that would be the missing value if I went up 15. All right, so if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, and good luck on the rest of your homework.